Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom from SBR Picks. Now, today we're going to break down Arsenal's Champions League odds and predict how far of a run they can make and what bets are worth a look at right now. Joining us now to help us run through Arsenal's futures is William Hill's in play radio host, Lee Phelps. Lee, thanks for being here today. No problem. Can't wait for the Champions League to get going. Me too, me too. Well, let's take a look at Arsenal here. They are in Group D, uh, with their only real competition being from Borussia Dortmund to win the group. Uh, they shared the group with Galatasaray and Anderlecht. Uh, Arsenal predicted uh, price, sorry, at 2.25, whilst Dortmund a price close behind 2.3. Would you pick the Gunners to win the group? Are you going with Dortmund? Uh, just, yeah, Arsenal just to win the group. Um, not by an awful lot. I think Dortmund are on the slide a tiny bit. Last season, they were in the same group, if you remember. Both finished on 12 points, and uh, Borussia Dortmund won courtesy of the head-to-head -head goal difference. <laughs> you know, they scored one more goal than Arsenal. They both won a game, uh, and they scored one more goal in their win than Arsenal did. Um, the man who scored that was Robert Lewandowski, who's no longer at the club, and I don't think they've replaced him with a like-for-like -like striker. So I think Arsenal are stronger than they were last season, admittedly. Olivier Giroud's out, but... I think Danny Welbeck could um, could have a, a, an interesting start to his Arsenal career. You know, we saw him play for England and scored two goals uh, uh, against Switzerland in the Euro 2016 qualifiers. So, and of course, they've got Alexis Sanchez as well, which I think is has made their their scoring potential stronger. So, on that on those grounds, we've got collateral form in that it's the same Arsenal manager, largely the same squad with a few really good additions. Dortmund, same manager, largely the same squad. But I think they've lost some of their goal power. So because of that, and because they finished on equal points last season, and Arsenal were, were denied top spot by a single goal, I'm going with Arsenal this time. All right. Well, good memory there, uh, Lee. Um, well, looking at the odds here, 1.3 is very low uh, to pick them to qualify, um, as is the dual forecast bet uh, if you place them with uh, Dortmund, and that's priced at 1.4. But if you think that Galatasaray will advance from Group D with them, that's priced at 7. Uh, who are the two uh, teams you see qualifying? Mm, um, I, I do see Dortmund qualifying. I think it would be a major slip for them not to get out of the group stage. I mean, you know, th that season, you know, two seasons ago now when they got to the final and, you know, they were like everyone's favourite European team, they seem to have lost their way a little bit. That, that seems like the peak and they haven't quite managed to get back there. Still, you know, showing glimpses, you know, they, they, you know, they, they beat uh, Bayern Munich, of course, in the, in the Super Cup. Um, but in the league this season, I've watched a couple of their games in the Bundesliga and not really impressed me too much, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, still got fantastic players, but um, I do think they will qualify, but I have got a sneaky suspicion for Galatasaray. I, I, I think what it is with Galatasaray is I've backed some of their goal scorers in, in recent years and I've backed them to get results in places where they shouldn't have got results and I quite like Galatasaray. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, they're a decent price to qualify. It's just, can they, can they, they'd have to beat Dortmund, I think, to get there. I think everyone will beat Anderlecht. You know, I think that, you know, that, that's a given. And if you don't beat them, then, you know, you, you really have slipped up. Um, but can Galatasaray get a result against either Arsenal or Borussia Dortmund? That, that's the key. Um, at home, they're formidable, but can they do it away from home? Mm -hmm. Not quite sure. Well, when you've got the two teams here, uh, Arsenal and Dortmund, who are um, somewhat sort of equally matched, they can sometimes cancel each other out, especially if Arsenal win those both teams, which obviously opens the door for Galatasaray. Now, if you're looking at the straight bets here, you can go for Arsenal-Dortmund, uh, the obvious choice, at 2.8, but then you can also go for Arsenal-Galatasaray, and that gives you odds of 10. Would you play the straight bet, especially with the uncertainty that maybe Galatasaray could also qualify along with Arsenal? Yeah, I probably would play it. I mean, like I say, what I'd probably do is, I, I, that would be my bet in this group, would be the straight forecast for Arsenal to win it and Dortmund to finish second. Um, and if you are a little bit tempted by Galatasaray, just have a small kind of saver on them to qualify. Um, because it, it is possible. You know, they've got some they've got some really good front players. Um, uh, Bullets is a player that I've, I've really liked over the past few seasons. Scores goals, scores goals in the Champions League as well. Um, I thought, I, I've, I've really been a fan of his. And they've lost Drogba, of course, but they've brought in you know other players this season that they're strong um, so that it would be a little saver I think if anything but I do I do like that straight forecast Arsenal and Dortmund uh, the one two yeah all right other markets are specific for Arsenal is betting on their top goal scorer and there's two I like uh, Alexis Sanchez uh, being the obvious choice price 2.75 and then Danny Welbeck uh, who looked good in England's Euro 2016 qualifying match uh, game against Switzerland they're priced at 2.75 and four respectively would either one of those get your bet or is there another say longer shot bet uh, worth considering 
I like Welbeck. I do like him a lot. Yeah. When you look back over the last 10 seasons, Arsenal have been in the Champions League. Their centre forward has uh, been their top scorer in the Champions League on all but two occasions. Now, admittedly, on four of the occasions, it was a, a dead heat. You know, so you know, you, it's, you're not an outright winner. You still get paid out, but you're not an outright winner. But the centre forward always is in the shake-up, apart from those two times. The two times it was Fabregas who managed to uh, be the top scorer in one of those seasons. Uh, so I mean, you know, a class player, obviously. So yeah, I, I'd like Welbeck. I mean, you know, he needs a service. But I think he'll get a bit of a new lease of life at Arsenal in a similar way to Daniel Sturridge has at Liverpool. Mm -hmm. You know, giving him you know some responsibility and putting him up front on his on his own. He showed he can finish goals for England, and he'll have a lot of service for Arsenal. So I'd take Welbeck on those odds. I think he's he is a touch of value here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Now another market here offered is betting on how far they can make it in the competition. The shortest odds is for them to make it to the round of 16. That's priced 2.62, followed by the quarterfinals priced 4, then the group stage priced 4.5. Where would your money go? The round of 16. Yeah, each of the last four seasons they've gone out of the round of 16. I don't think they're strong enough in midfield. I don't think they've got enough leaders to go away to the, the big clubs, the really big European clubs, and get um, get draws. You know, you need to be able to go away, get a scruffy draw, whether it's a nil-nil or a 1-1, one -one, obviously preferably a 1-1 one -one because you have an away goal. Really interesting stat. If you look at Arsenal's record over you know the last four seasons when they've gone out in the round of 16, they played 36 matches. Only four of those 36 have been draws. Only one of the draws has come in the round of 16. So it just shows you, you know, that they, they don't seem to be able to go away and get draws. They either win or lose. I mean, they've won 21 of those 36 and lost 11. You know, you know that, that's not how you go further in, you know, in Champions League football. You, you go away, you batten down the hatches, you get a draw, you take them back home and, and you beat them at home. That's how you do it. Preferably the away goal to give you, you know, a fighting chance at home as well. It, it's just not, not the way things are done. They, the, the only draw they've got in the round of 16 was actually last year. But you know the, the tie was already over, to be honest with you. So it kind of, you know, you know, Bayern were already kind of like, you know, just I think they were just making sure they didn't lose. Um, so that's why I think they'll go out the round of 16, unless they get a really, really favourable draw. Obviously, if they draw the kind of the worst team in the round of 16, yeah. that can change. But you know, you, that's lucky, you know. And they've been fairly unlucky with the draws in, in previous years. You know, they've drawn, you know, like to Barcelona and Bayern Munich um, uh, and Milan once when they, you know, they went away to Milan and lost four 0 And Milan weren't exactly the, you know, the greatest team in the competition. They, they just leave themselves too much to do when they come back to uh, to the Emirates. Mm -hmm. Well, they are um, third favourites here out of the four British teams to advance the furthest, uh, which is priced at 4.5. Which is your favourite English team to make it the furthest in the competition? Manchester City. I'm going to stick with them. Um, they're not the best team in England. I think Chelsea are the best team. But I think Chelsea will be hell-bent on winning the Premier League this season. Um, it's really interesting about Chelsea. Just a really quick aside. If, if you have a look at their fixtures, Natalie, in the Champions League, when they come back from Europe, they have got big games. Every time they come back from a group match, they've got a really, really big game. And I think they may even weaken down for the Champions League group stage, Chelsea. I think they'll get through the group, don't get me wrong. But I think there'll be more onus on Chelsea winning the Premier League than the Champions League. I think it's the reverse of Manchester City. They've won the Premier League twice in three seasons. Great, you know, I'm sure they'd love to win it again. But the players, you know, the professional, world-class players, they want to move on. They need to improve on their Champions League record. And I think we'll see a different Manchester City in Europe this, this season. They'll do what Arsenal don't do. I think they'll start to go away and not go crazy, not try and score loads of goals. They'll, they'll try and get draws and then beat them at, uh, at the Etihad. So uh, it'd be Manchester City to go furthest for me. And finally, what is your top tip for betting Arsenal in the Champions League futures? I do like the uh, the Arsenal one too, but I'm going to trust uh, Danny Welbeck to, to be the top scorer for Arsenal in this year's competition. I really like that bet. All right, wonderful, Lee Phelps. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks. The Espion Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.